హలో అండి నేను డాక్టర్ సుమీనా రెడ్డి గైనకాలజిస్ట్ అండ్ ఫర్టిలిటీ స్పెషలిస్ట్ ఫర్టిలికా ఐవీఎఫ్ హైదరాబాద్ మేకింగ్ అ బేబీ ఈజ్ నాట్ ఆల్వేస్ ఈజీ బట్ ఫార్చునేట్లీ దీస్ డేస్ వీ హ్యావ్ అ నంబర్ ఆఫ్ ట్రీట్మెంట్ ప్రొసీజర్స్ టు ఇంప్రూవ్ యువర్ ఫర్టిలిటీ రేట్స్ ఐవీఎఫ్ ఆర్ ఇన్విట్రో ఫర్టిలైజేషన్ ఈజ్ వన్ సచ్ ప్రొసీజర్ వరల్డ్ వైడ్ ఆల్మోస్ట్ టెన్ మిలియన్ బేబీస్ ఆర్ బోర్న్ త్రూ ఐవీఎఫ్ today let us understand the various steps involved in an ivf procedure cycle so the first step of ivf is a preparatory step that is even before you start medicines for the follicular or egg growth you need to optimize the conditions so that the success rates improve this include consulting a good physician taking complete fertility history doing necessary investigations which includes blood test ultrasound scan semen analysis and then starting on some supplements that improve the egg quality and sperm quality the second step is ovarian stimulation that is naturally the humans are tuned to produce one follicle or one egg in one month whereas in ivf we try to give hormone injections so that as many eggs as possible try to grow these growing follicles are supported externally by the hormone injections that we give the growth of the follicles is monitored through regular blood test and ultrasound scans once the follicles reach a mature size of 17 to 20 mm on an average the final trigger injection is given to bring about the final maturity in this follicles or eggs the third step is egg retrieval or oocyte retrieval in this procedure the follicles or the follicular fluid is drawn out through a fine needle that is passed alongside a transvaginal probe of an ultrasound machine so this follicular fluid contains the egg or oocyte The procedure is carried out under general anesthesia so it is completely painless procedure. The follicles or the eggs thus collected are examined under a microscope to separate the mature eggs or follicles from the immature ones. The next step is the ICSI or intracytoplasmic sperm injection in which each oocyte is injected with a good quality sperm under a microscope. when an egg is injected with a sperm the resulting embryo is cultured in an incubator within the laboratory the next step thus is embryo culture the embryo culture usually goes on for 3 to 5 days by the end of 3 days we expect a eight celled embryo and by the 5 day culture we expect a blastocyst which is nearly more than 100 cells these embryos are again graded under a microscope to know what is the quality of the embryo the next step is the embryo transfer that is the embryos thus formed in the laboratory are transferred back into the womb or uterus under the ultrasound guidance any extra embryos left behind are usually frozen so that you can use them in your next cycles so to summarize the essential steps of ivf are the preparatory step ovarian stimulation oocyte retrieval ivf icsi embryo culture and embryo transfer the success rate of a well performed ivf procedure is usually between 45 to 50% so that means you need to be prepared as much for a success as for a failure The success rate of an IVF procedure depends on the age of the couple, the indication for which the IVF is being performed, the quality and number of the eggs and the quality and number of the sperms and finally the quality of the laboratory in which the embryos are being cultured. So, if you are suffering from infertility and are planning to go for an IVF treatment, it is crucial that you meet a good fertility consultant get yourself evaluated talk about the various steps of the procedure and then start your treatment on time thank you